What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this really extremely fun look for you guys. I know it is so over the top, but if you are interested in this video and you wanna see how I did all of this, stick around and keep on watching. Back to back, I'm coming for the win. Blue hair on my pretty brown skin. Lips so popping, the sun on dim. They be lurking, I ain't messing with them. <laughs> Jumping right in. <laughs> so today we are blue. Oh, how fun is this? I tell you, I could not wait to try this wig. Yes, it is a wig, okay? I did not make it. It came exactly like this. And where did it come from? It came from Alley Queen Mall. This is their Brazilian. I'm trying to get it off the top of my head instead of always looking at my phone. You know what I'm saying? This is their Brazilian straight hair. It is a colorful wig that they already do. They have yellow, they have pink, they have ash gray that everybody loves. They have red, they have quite a huge variety of colorful wigs. So when I saw this, I was just floored and could not wait to try it because y'all already know I live in Japan. I keep getting asked, are you still in Japan? I am still in Japan, honey. Japan is home. I have been here for 11, 12, 12 years now, you know, so, and I love it here, you know, it's, it's, it's home. <laughs> okay, so y'all already know I cannot get the adore. I think that's how you say it, adore. Hair dye stuff, I can't get that over here and I don't wanna fight and fuss and try to get that stuff in here, you see what I'm saying? So this just made it a whole lot easier and you know, they have tons of different colors so hopefully I can try those as well. But yeah, today is the blue wig that I am trying and it is 24 inches. It has the adjustable straps in the back. It is a lace frontal, it has some lace in the back. It has, I think five combs, one, two, three, four four combs in it um, yeah really really nice and lightweight but at the same time very fluffy and full as you can tell and super super cute and the and it has like the dark roots and everything I did not do that it comes like this you see what I'm saying I did go in and do some pre plucking and I did also what you call it <laughs> bleach the knots <laughs> okay as usual uh, it didn't come with the bleach knots or anything like that but yeah I can't wait to try this I am still debating though do I want to do baby hairs with this because I feel like they're gonna be like blue baby hairs and I'm not feeling blue baby hairs, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna use my foundation and tint the lace after I finish putting it on and stuff like that. So yes, all the information for this company will be in the description. <laughs> description okay all the information for this company will be in the description box make sure to check it out as well as all of my thoughts will be down there um yeah so without further ado let me zoom you in a little bit so y'all can get within while i glue this bad boy down okay y'all already know how we <laughs> you know what i'm saying okay also just because i know i'm gonna get axed i use my new me five in one curling one i will try to remember to put this in the video in the in the description box and to stick this down today i'm gonna be using my guts to be glued okay because i just want to i don't know why i just feel like using this today maybe it's because i want to show y'all something different in the video all right i'm talking too much now so let me flip this back <laughs> so we can get it right Okay, so I went ahead and pinned it up just to get it out of the way. Y'all did not need to see that. So what I'm gonna do now is just melt the lace some more by using my mousse. I'm not gonna do baby hairs today because I tried a while ago and they're blue and I'm not really feeling blue baby hairs. <laughs> so I'm trying to melt it some more. That's all I'm, all I'm doing. So in order to do that, I'm gonna tie it down with this and hopefully when I take it off, it'll look not so ashy. But I'm gonna put makeup on it anyway because this lace is not tinted. If you don't wanna do this, you have to tint your lace. I don't have time for that. Whoop de whoop, skippity boop boop boop. So yeah, all the information in the description box. Okay, if you wanna try some blue hair, definitely check them out. Whoop de whoop boop, skippity boop boop boop. So let's zoom in and get within. Okay, we got it going on, got it going on. <laughs> 
okay now y'all gonna laugh okay something is wrong with me all right so I was digging through and I was going through my eyeshadow palettes and I came across this one eyeshadow palette and I was like oh my god I can't remember I, I, I can't remember when I bought this but I have it and then I went I remembered I took pictures of this palette to post on my Instagram feed and this is a while back if you go through my feed you can tell how long ago I had this palette I haven't touched it I haven't swatched it there is not a breast stroke there is nothing and I'm like sue me you have got to do better so <laughs> today we are going to be dabbling in the Kylie cosmetic what is this I this was I think this was last year summer palette if it's even I don't I can't even remember chat but we are gonna be playing with this as you can tell there are no breast strokes I haven't touched it there's no swatches nothing and I'm just like are you serious right now that's why you need to stop buying makeup okay <laughs> trying to keep up with the gel just stop it okay I already did my brows I put on my base I use the black opal concealer and tan and I definitely use my what is it my ColourPop concealer in 40 so yeah let's just go on in and okay are you zoomed in enough I think this is good enough don't you think all right the first color I'm gonna go in with is this shade right here and the names are on the back and I don't have time for that so if you have this palette just okay follow along as I point all right work with me a little bit so I'm gonna take that shade and I'm gonna start to pat that into my crease I'm trying to stay away from that burgundy shade in there did, did you see it <laughs> I am tempted to put that in my crease this right here but I put that in my crease the other day um, just my last video like that shade something similar basically so we're gonna go ahead and start to pat this into the crease and create a shape and I think I'm gonna be doing like a, a little cut crease type of situation today as well and I'm gonna do this on a round type of situation and then we're gonna go in and blend it out so we're just packing it on and all of that good stuff when I'm done just hand me my whip so I can tame these lions okay <laughs> y'all better come on next on the menu I am going to take this neon -y orange I don't know if my camera is picking that up but like right here it looks so fluorescent that I'm hoping that it translates the same way so I'm gonna use that and start to blend out that other orange basically and I'm just gonna start to buff that right on the very edges and there should be like a really seamless transition by the time I am done yes now that I have that, I'm going to go in with my MAC Select cover-up, and this is in NW30. And with this, I am going to cut my crease using my Sigma fan brush. Okay. Whoop de whoop whoop. Just like that right there. Just like that right there. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do next is take the neon orange, and with that, I am going to start to pat that on the outer perimeters of this just hug in that situation okay next on the menu I am going to take this glittery goldish shade and with that I am going to start to just pat that in the center I think that'll look pretty cool now I'm gonna take this orange shimmer shade and with that I'm just going to pat that on the lower half of this halo situation just to kind of mix it in a little bit you know what I'm saying just a little something something you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? just muting that area a little bit right over that shimmer color just mixing it and doing the do I'm just gonna repeat the same steps for my lower lash line I'm gonna go in with the first orange not the neon one the first one and I'm just gonna pat that on my lower lash line and after I'm done with my face I'm gonna come back buff the neon orange in there you know what I'm saying okay so I want to have a little bit more fun with this look so I am going to go in with a blue liner and I'm trying to decide which one I should go with I kind of feel like it's this one or this one by lime crime you have sugar pill with euphoria and we have lime crime with peacock um, we gonna go with sugar pill okay it looks a little bit just a tad bit brighter you can hardly tell but I can and sugar pill is this one right here so I'm gonna go in with my liner brush and I'm just gonna give myself a nice little wing and I'm gonna do this liner pretty thick because I want it to show when I put on my lashes you know what I'm saying just to make it kind of tie in with the hair and stuff just to have a little bit of fun it's all fun you know what I'm saying I'm just applying my lashes and <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I have cleaned off the glue and reapplied these lashes. They are the Dollhouse Lashes. Um, this is the exclusive 3 for Beauty Bay, basically. So we gonna pop these on, and then we gonna zoom out, cause it's time to show out. You hear me? Oh, Lord, you hear me? come on now. I'm feeling myself. Skibbity bang, skibbity bang wang, about to do this thing like my name John Wayne. Hey, what you gonna do? Okay, so first I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Primer, and I am going to push that into the skin. 
with all that good stuff. Next, I am going to go in with my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer and I'm just gonna scoop some out and I'm kind of just gonna push it into the skin. Like, you know, instead of rubbing it in, I'm just gonna push it. This also works really well too. Next, I am going to go in with my Becca Mattifying Primer. And with this, I am going to concentrate this right at the very top of my cheeks and over my nose. Basically, like the areas I tend to get really, really greasy, really oily. And last but not least, I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And with this, you guys already know it, I'm just gonna hit my trouble spots to help with creasing around the mouth okay and with this we're also just gonna pat it on in this area give me the ting and let me rock in the dance so today i am going to be using my nars foundation and i already have some squirt out here on my jar i'm just giving y'all a little break to get over certain things okay <laughs> give y'all a little chance to catch a breather okay and with this we're gonna pat it on you see how everything is looking nice and ashy like you want it to look like this this means that your your base is extremely extremely smooth right about now you get what I'm saying so when you start to pounce that foundation on top you are going to have such a beautiful smooth non creasing type of finish it looks crazy and it looks like a lot but trust me when I tell you it works okay you got it you got to work with me a little bit now okay I'll be doing the do for my concealer I'm gonna go in with Fenty 380 and I'm just gonna stick to my same routine. So first I'm gonna place this and then I'm gonna leave it alone and then I'm gonna go in with my contour and then come back and blend this out. This is just gonna sit and bake for a minute. <laughs> a different type of bake, basically. Okay, so I like to place this under my eyes, down my nose, the center of my forehead, a little bit on my chin and my cupid's bow and we're good to go. For my contour, I'm gonna be going in with the ABH Earth Foundation Stick and I'm just gonna do like a light contour. Nothing too, you know what I'm saying? Nothing too harsh, okay? And for this, I am definitely going to use a brush to blend it out. I find that a brush works a lot faster for cream products, you know, compared to a sponge. And now it's time to go in and blend out that concealer. And for my second concealer, you guys already know how I love to do. I'm gonna go in with 350 by Fenty. It's just a little bit lighter, and I'm just gonna put that right there. I always try to, you know, camouflage the trough area of my eyes. You know, everybody has it. It's, it's a natural thing. You know, even babies have it. So, but I like to like make that whole entire area look smooth. You feel know what I'm saying? You see how, you know, lifted that area looks? And when we set it with the powder, it's even gonna do, you know, it's gonna do more damage, papi. It's gonna look so smooth. You see what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know. I don't have the words right now, but it's like that, okay? No dilly, no dally. We are going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder in, what is this, uh, Golden Beige? I should know the name by now. But look, you see, do you see the pan? <laughs> Girl, working it down, okay? And I'm gonna apply this with a powder puff. Everywhere that I applied the brighter concealer is where I'm going to apply this powder. Going in with Honey by Fenty Beauty and my little detail brush, I'm going to use this and just pat that right in the very problem area that I'm trying to basically lift and conceal. That's basically all that this does, you know. It just locks in that area, makes it look more lifted and, you know, popping. So you just wanna go in and pat that powder right in there and let it cook for a minute. You see what I'm saying? Just in that little area. You don't wanna go all over the place. Just leave it right there. That's good enough. You feel me? I'm also gonna take a little bit and just brighten up my nose, the ridge of my nose basically. Now taking Nutmeg, also by Fenty, I am going to use this to set the rest of my face. All the areas that we didn't get with any powder. You wanna set that, just the outer perimeters, you see what I'm saying? So now I'm gonna take my powder brush and just buff away the excess powder. You don't need that to be on your face for too long. You know what I'm saying? Okay guys, so now that we still have, well while we still have that bake right there, I like to go in and touch up my lower lash line. So I'm gonna take the neon orange and with that I'm going to buff that right below that other orange. So it all looks the same above and below. You get what I'm saying? Why am I leaning away from the shot? So to bring back a shape to this nose, we gonna contour using my MAC NW45 powder. And we're just gonna, you know, just bring back a little definition. We ain't trying to change, change the shape too much. You see what I'm saying? We change. <laughs> I believe there is a glitch in the system, but it is what it is, boo, okay? Chop it off right here if you wanna have that little cute 
button nose, you know what I'm saying? Get on the head, do a little triangle. Hit the sides if you ain't trying to disappear. If you trying to breathe, bring it back, you see what I'm saying? Now, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Mocha Bronzer and with this, I am going to warm up and chisel out at the same time, right up in these areas. Put some definition back on that five head situation. Brush it into the lace. Hit under the jaw just a little bit, not too much. We just going for a little soft look today. We ain't gonna do too much, okay. Whoop de whoop whoop, we're getting there. Okay. So for my tear duct color, I am going to go into the Tammy Times Revolution palette and I am going to be taking this blue shimmer shade right here. And with that, I am going to just throw that right in my tear duct area, okay? And that's gonna be that situation right there, okay? Do something different. You see what I mean? And just so you guys know, I already did my mascara, so. You know what I'm saying? Whoop de whoop whoop. Just a different vibe altogether. But I like it. For the blush, we go in no school. Okay, Sleek. Sahara, Sahara by Sleek. Y'all remember this? I used to wear this all the time. Rusty shade. Beautiful rusty shade that is gorgeous on brown skin. It ain't doing too much, you see what I'm saying? Just a little something, something. You can hardly see it, but there's a flush of color right there, which I love. Like, you see what I'm saying? You see it, I know y'all see it. And for a little bit of beam on the face, I'm gonna be taking Melt Cosmetics. This is their highlighter in Sundown. And she's a soft sheen type of highlight, so I really like it. Super soft, and we're just gonna blend out that whole entire situation so it all ties in. Carry it up under the eyes, blend it out so you have a nice transition between matte to shimmer. You feel me? That's too much, oh my God, what am I doing? And we're gonna do a little bit on the nose while dusting away that highlight powder, kind of mixing it in together. And we're gonna do the Cupid's bow. That is it for today. Okay, so for my lips, I wanna do a orange lip. I wanna tie it all in. I just wanna have a lot of fun with this look right now. So I'm gonna be using Colored Rain to line my lips, and then I'm gonna be using Cubby by Sugar Pill to brighten up the center, okay? So I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand, and I'm gonna use my lip brush to outline them and I am going to be overdrawing them as usual. <laughs> okay, I want my lips to look full, okay? But I wanna do it with makeup, that's all. Okay, so now that I have the lips lined, and that was a little bit of a struggle today, <laughs> y'all did not need to see that. I am going to go in with Cubby by Sugar Pill, and I'm just gonna place this right in the center. This is kind of more on the pinky side, as you can tell. And I'm just gonna press until it blends. I feel like putting a gloss on top of this. <laughs> I know it's really bright, right? But I like it, okay? I feel like putting a gloss on top of this, and this is by Melt Cosmetics. Cosmetics, and this is their Molten Metal Lip Gloss, and this one is called Deviant, okay? And it's like a metallic orange, so I think it'll look really, really pretty on top of this. Okay, so as you can tell, the last thing I am going to do is pat in my bake. Lately, I have been love doing this with my makeup because once you do it last, that means that under that area is going to look really nice and fresh and set. You see what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna take the same brush and pat in that powder and spread it out instead of dusting it away. You see what I'm saying? Like under there just looks really nice and fresh. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And last but not least, I am going to set my face, lock all this in and take away from that powdery look. And for that, I'm going to be using my essence water. Okay guys, so that is it for this look this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I absolutely love how this look. I just think it's fun and it's different. And surprisingly, blue actually really looks good on me. I'm not gonna lie. I think I like this even more than I like blonde hair, I must say. And the crazy makeup, it's just so fun. I really do like it. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. If it is your first time here, please subscribe, join the family. We are a happy bunch. Okay, nothing but good vibes only, no negativity. Negativity gets deleted, blocked, or kicked out. You see what I'm saying? So we ain't gonna do none of that inside here. We're just gonna keep up inside here, a really happy place. So join us 
you understand if you want to have a little you know a little good time good time okay so yeah make sure that you check out Ali Queen hair the link for this hair will be in the description box and don't forget they have tons of colors ready to go for you for those of us who do not want to be dyeing the hair ourselves they already are they're doing it for you okay and the wig is already made so I think that's a plus that's a win-win and the hair is really really nice it's soft it is straight hair and all of that good stuff so yeah make sure you follow me on all of my social media platforms which is Instagram and snapchat everything is under Savannah Silver and until the next video I love you guys so much and I will see you guys real soon